morning, everyone. Welcome to Income Taxation. This is Jisrin H. Raz, your class instructor for today. So our lesson for today is all about the concept of income. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to various accounting methods and techniques used in computing the taxable income. Although some of these methods are already familiar to you because these have been discussed already in your accounting subjects. So this lesson is divided into several parts. And in this video, we'll focus on the cash and accrual basis. Our objectives in this lesson is for you to be able to distinguish income from the return of the capital, to apply different accounting methods in computing income for taxation purposes, to evaluate the different accounting periods in taxation, including the short period and adjustment period, and finally, apply prescription periods in filing short period and adjustment returns. So, if you're ready, let's start. So, let me begin uh, this discussion by asking what is an income. So, I know you have already an idea of what an income is. But, according to accounting, it is an increase in the equity or capital during the period other than the capital contributions made by the owner or stockholders. So, income is an increase in the capital or equity of the stockholders without having to add an additional capital. So this is just merely a growth in the capital after several periods, after using the capital. So according to Black's Law Dictionary, income is the return in money from one's business, labor, or capital invested. Okay, so return means the money or value derived from the use of money or capital invested so there are two uh, distinct terms in this uh, discussion we have the return of the capital and the return on the capital so for income taxation purposes an income is described as the return on the capital rather than the return of the capital itself in other words it is the excess of money or money's worth received for the capital used. So we can illustrate this. Uh, this is the total receipts or turnover or total money received by the, by the taxpayer, for example. Less the capital invested, any excess amount is the income. So these total receipts or turnover is actually the total money returned while the capital invested is the return of the capital okay while the excess thereof is the return on the capital so for example if we have invested 100,000 in a business and then later on we get 120,000 therefore the 100,000 is the return of the capital, while that excess 20,000 is the return on the capital. Okay, so any excess received from the capital invested is the amount or the income uh, which we have received. Okay, so there are several accounting methods to be used in computing income depending on the nature of the business or the taxpayer. So depending if the taxpayer is an employee or a businessman or what kind of business that the, the taxpayer uh, is engaged into. So we can enumerate this into number one, cash-based accounting. We have accrual basis. Accounting for leasehold improvements. When you say leasehold improvements, these are uh, any improvement made by the lessee in the property being leased from the lessor. We also have accounting for long-term contracts, installment basis of reporting, deferred reporting, and accounting for farming business. And finally, we have hybrid accounting. So these are the uh, methods used in computing income for taxation purposes. So we'll discuss this methods one by one so for the in this video we will discuss the cash and accrual basis whereas the the rest of the methods will be discussed in the in the other videos that we have so 
we'll discuss first the cash basis of accounting. Cash In cash-based accounting, incomes are reported when cash is collected and expenses are reported or deducted from our income when these are paid. So, uh, the, the main uh, point in cash-based accounting is that when was cash collected or when was cash paid. So, that's cash-based of accounting. Commonly, or in, in accordance with the National Internal Revenue Code, Cash-based accounting is used or preferred for servicing business. So when they say servicing business, these are any business engaged into rendering service. Like for example, we have repair shops, spas, salons, computer shops. So these are servicing business. Also, leasing business is also a servicing business. So again, cash basis is used for servicing business. While accrual basis of accounting, incomes are reported when earned and expenses are reported when incurred. So, in contrast with cash-based accounting, accrual base of accounting reports incomes or declares income when there is already a, uh, when the incomes are already earned and expenses are already incurred, regardless of when these incomes are received or paid. So, for example, if you are engaged into selling of goods and then one of your customer approach you to purchase on account, meaning you will have a sales on account. So, at the point when there is a sale, when there is a transfer of goods from the seller to the buyer, then that will be the point when the taxpayer or when the seller taxpayer has to report such sale as a sale. Okay, regardless of when the buyer would pay his account, whereas expenses are also likewise reported when incurred, uh, regardless when these expenses are paid. Taxpayers report their incomes when the right to ownership over goods sold is transferred from the seller to the buyer. So regardless of when the collection took place, but when there is already a transfer of the goods, transfer of the ownership or right to ownership of the goods sold, then that will be the point when the seller taxpayer has to report said sale as income. Okay? So, let's have an example. Maria had the following data for 2019. Maria has a sales on account of 540000 with beginning inventory, a beginning receivable balance of 120, and ending receivable balance of 200. She also had expenses paid and jewelry received 20,000, and we have also unpaid and accrued expenses of 150,000. So we will solve this problem assuming Maria is on servicing business or on selling of goods. Okay, by the way, in accrual basis, the uh, accrual basis is preferred to be used for taxpayers engaged in the sale of goods, okay? If if cash basis is for the sale of service, then accrual basis is for the sale of goods. So any taxpayer selling goods shall use the accrual basis and any taxpayer selling service shall use the cash basis of accounting. Okay, so we'll answer this uh, problem using the two methods. To resolve Maria's problem, we would need to determine first if Maria is selling goods or if Maria is selling service. So in our case, since it's not said wh whether Maria is selling goods or service, then we'll assume uh, both so that we can present the comparative solutions for accrual basis and cash basis. So, let's assume first that Maria is selling goods. Therefore, we will use the accrual basis. So, in accrual basis, we have sales on account. This is the sales of Maria, 540000 and then less expenses. So, since it's accrual basis, this will include both the paid expenses 
and the accrued or unpaid expenses, a total of 270,000 pesos. So therefore, under accrual basis, Maria would have an income of 270,000 pesos. Okay? However, if Maria is selling goods, I mean service, therefore Maria shall be using the cash basis, right? So under the cash basis, we cannot use the sales, the term sales and account because it is on account. It is a credit sales. In cash basis, we should base our income or revenue on the collection. But since we are given beginning balance of the accounts receivable of 120,000 and we're also given the credit sales so we will add that together we'll have 660,000 and then we'll deduct the ending AR balance okay of 200,000 therefore we have a total collection of 460,000 pesos right so after we have the collections now let's deduct the expenses. In expenses, however, we cannot deduct the expenses which are yet to be paid, which are just accrued. So in this case, we own we can only deduct the paid expenses, which is one twenty thousand pesos. So under cash basis, Maria would have to report an income of three hundred forty thousand pesos. Okay, so there. It's so the difference between the accrual basis and the cash basis. In accrual basis, we based our revenue on the sales, whether it's paid or unpaid. But in cash basis, we based on the collection. Okay? So, I hope you learned a lot from this discussion and I hope you'd watch the next videos. Thank you for watching.